Oh, that was... That was ugly. What was that? I'm not sure what the deal is. I have to reset my audio every time. Um, every time I jump on stream and uh, I selected the wrong option. That's okay. But it's good now. All right. There we are. I'm up push to talk now as well. Cool. You sound good. Just let me know what you want me to do. I guess I can put in some waypoints. Yeah, uh, if you want to put in some waypoints and uh, get us armed up, um, maybe uh, we can go with a full boat of Hellfire. It's kind of a long flight up there, so we'll burn off some gas. All right. Uh, I guess we need to go with the kilos. Yeah, the kilos lasers. are best. Roger that. All right. Uh, let's see. Weapon foresight. Anyway, welcome everybody. Appreciate the, all of the follows and uh, thanks for letting me know. Stream saying you're a little bit quiet, I guess. Um. Is there a way you can do like a microphone boost on your SRS? Yeah, I can see one on station, let us Charlie, Angels 3 0. That speaker boost. I think microphone is as good as it's going to get, actually. <clears throat> I'll just move it a little bit closer. Can't get too close because, uh, you know, VR and whatnot. But, uh, let's see. Let's get this I had spore site done. All right, I had spore site is done. TSD show page. I get my show page set up here real quick. Shouldn't take long. And we'll get this aircraft started up. All right, so we got uh, TSD weapons page. I'll let him work on that. Video, tense, tense, zoom. All right. Cranking engines. Roger that. John's upset, but... He knows who his real daddy is. <laughs> Looks like there was a bit of a fight here. And, uh, got some Humvees in some bad shape. That looks good. TSD is building some points. The map looks good. Um, yeah, so we're going to go do some uh, flying with Tricker here in the uh, Gray Flag Persian Gulf. <laughs> Sorry, John. <laughs> I got you next. <laughs> uh, let's see. Come, not worried about the calm. All right. I think as far as that goes, we're ready to go. All I got to do now is run the engines up and uh, turn off the APU, and we'll be good to go. Um, we are. We're starting down here in Casham. And we're gonna make our way up here to the port. Uh, 26 miles, not too far. Um, <laughs> gonna fire a hellfire and never call a rifle. <laughs> and that would be different than everybody else. How? <laughs>
Hey, you I could was trying uh, to jump out the window. What's that? I opened my window. I was trying to jump out. Oh, don't do that. Then I have to fly with George. Because John's not happy with me either. He's never happy. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. It's about a 024. We may just start uh, heading that way. Oh, look. We got a point. Good deal. All right. Two to fly. APU's coming off. And here we are. I think. Alright, I'm all bore sighted up here. We have a waypoint and we're loaded out with 16. Or sorry, we got, uh, I guess, 12 Hellfires. That'll work. Yeah, I'm ready to go if you are. I'm ready, baby. All right, here we go. All right, clear all around. It's coming up. Just get a quick hover power check. We got the RWR on. She's searching. Awesome. All right, 75. We got our home plate over here. We'll head that direction. See if we can find anything. I think we'll find a few things. And there uh, appeared to be some uh, bad guy territory up there. We just gotta Still make our way up there. Yeah, so uh, Tricker and I were talking about uh, doing some flying together, and uh, the timing worked out, so decided that uh, we had the, uh, the time and the ability to jump on together. And... Uh, Hopefully, uh, there might be a video or two coming out of, uh, of some things we got to do as well, so more to follow on that. I won't let the, completely let the cat out of the bag, but Airbus pilots are power bottoms of the sky. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? If it ain't Boeing, I ain't going, right? I mean, the Apache is a John Boeing. John says you're a big old hunk. Aw, oh, shucks. Um. <clears throat> yeah, so the Apache is a Boeing product. And uh, my current ride, the uh, 7.5 and 7.6, also Boeing products. So, you know... I'm kind of a Boeing guy. I've never flown an Airbus. I'm sure they're great airplanes. I've ridden on them a bunch, but I don't know. It'd take me a minute to get used to that side stick.
Kind of level off, trim it out, put it on some uh, attitude, altitude, hold, and hopefully not get too close to that tower. Let's take a look at the map. <coughs> so we are coming up this direction, and uh, we'll start, let's see, power plant, rail yard. Fuel storage center, fuel storage west, rail north. Okay. Looks like there's plenty of stuff for us to work on, so. 35 clicks, 10 minutes. Still a ways out. No need to get down so low yet. I had, uh, well, before I say anything, um, if you're watching on YouTube, awesome. I appreciate it. Thanks for joining us there. Uh, Tricker and I are uh, flying in the H-64 today. He's up in the front seat. Um, but uh, I, if you're chatting on YouTube, I cannot see it. So I apologize. I'll check in every now and then when I get a minute. Think. Let's see. We'll take a look now. I don't see any YouTube chatters at the moment, so if you really, oh, sorry about that. If you really got something you want to say, join us over on Twitch, and uh, I can read the chat there. Um, but feel free to stay on YouTube if if you just want to watch and hang out, and uh, that's cool too. But I had a comment the other day about finally a uh, a video. Um, not in VR field of view. Cause the uh, the last stream I did was uh, was in 2D using Track IR, which is great. You know, I was practicing some front seat, or I was trying to. Um, but the uh, flying in 2D, I I've just gotten so used to VR. I was, I was trying to do. Uh like update Bravo for the lattice stuff and I guess you can't do it as a CPG oh really? So I don't know if you wanna I, I know it's probably gonna be difficult at, for your flying but if you wanna do it <laughs> and in VR yeah I can do it um so it's just uh okay. you just drop a circle and type update yeah exactly okay uh, so I guess that. for some reason the CPG can't do it interesting Alright, let's clear these wires. And Gatto just sent me a text message and he says, Tell Schoolio I said hi. Gatto. Good dude. Alright, there we go. That worked. Alrighty. Delta? Is that correct? I thought we started in Bravo. Uh, we're going. We're going to Charlie. Power station. We're going to Charlie. Okay, Charlie. All right. So I put in power plant, and it says there's more than a few at the power plant. So we're gonna go All show right. them what's up at the power plant. Sounds good. Bullet, thanks for the follow. Jelly. <laughs> Bill's in the mail. Nice. <laughs> well, welcome, everybody. Appreciate you uh, all being here. That's awesome. We are uh, 
in the Apache with Tricker. Uh, we are headed up to uh, Lattice Charlie to the Rajail port. And we're gonna see if we can lay some smack down uh, on that base. Again, last. You got stuff though. I'm sorry. We only have uh, AAA in the north. Uh, Cure F on the Brave man flying with you. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. No, it'll be fine. We uh, we got a little bit of warm up in before this, so I think he's uh, he's a lot more familiar with the uh, front seat controls now than he was before. So. Hopefully that's a good thing. Copy, Dragon 2, one's overhead right now. I have one by Maverick. Hopefully, uh, um, hopefully the practice helps. I'll let you guys know. I'll probably fire on it. Uh, if you want, yeah, I yeah. No, I'm not worried about it. We'll be good. Uh, yeah, hold on one second, stand by. We got the uh, flares and chaff armed and everything? Uh, not at the moment. I'll get them up. Yeah, no worries. I hit the button. I was trying to do yeah, the trick command. Let me see if it was working. All right, they're up now. Um, no, two, it seven, works. One, zero, nine, one, six. I was trying to light up the uh, the ocean for the Little Mermaid. Going fishing? Yeah, I'm going fishing. Flying <laughs> south, what you got? Uh, Radio damage. The, the stream says you sound like wags. You know, they're not the first people to say that. I've heard that before, too. Was that a grid or were you giving me last long? I think so, like... Hey, guys. I can School you here from Eagle uh, Whatever you prefer. Hey, guys. Yeah, School you here grid, from not Eagle Dynamics. Forty R. Uh, <laughs> R. Uh, like Alright, still like just a little zero, bit. Four, <laughs> nine, five, five, zero, four, six, left. nine, five, one. Copy, we are zero, four, nine, five, five, zero, six, nine, five, five, about fourteen kilometers though. Yep, I got a fast the mover up high at uh, ten o'clock. Uh, visual. Okay, copy, thanks. If there's Looks like an A-10. I'll just take one of them. Okay. I'll let you know which one I'm taking. I can get the... get the tads over there if we want. No, that's fine. Charger 5-1 for... Charger 5-2. Go ahead. You're still flying? Electronics are out, engines are still on. I'm gonna punch out that uh, cure to catch them. I see you down low there. I got a visual on the power plant over. Roger, right off the nose, right? That's an A firm. You said that grid was BR as in Bravo Romeo? Charger 5-1, can't you make it to Cashem uh, Airport? I would try. Did a fish just hit us? No, I... I hit the, uh... trim reset. Freaking nose came okay. up. I thought we got hit by, like, a fish. All right, we're approaching eight kilometers out. I'm gonna keep it about 30 knots and kind of work our way in. Uh, we'll give you some right. time to search for targets. I'm looking. Give us 
give ourselves a little more altitude here. Rape year. Rape year. What is that? I don't even know what that is. That's uh, a type of uh, Sam. <clears throat> Saying one o'clock, so we'll be careful. Got a possible target here. I'm not sure. Never mind. Looks it's dead. dead. As long as he's not tracking, I'm not worried. Yeah, right. All right, we'll stop our climb right about here. 900 feet, that's probably good enough. Uh, the guys that were originally tasking that AAA, okay. you guys can go ahead and go in on that. Um, I think we're pretty we're far out. About 135 miles away from hopefully. That if we see anything launch, we'll, we'll maneuver. This is charge flight. Uh, we took damage from the AAA and we tried to return to BTR. Cash in there, Still alive? Smoking. Yeah. Let me, uh, I forgot to turn on the radar, or the, uh, laser standby. Alright, I'm gonna slide left and see if we can get a better, uh, line of sight on. Let target 05. Okay. Nice. Alright, laser is now armed. Charger flight one is uh, charger flight two. I'm switching to airfield. Uh, one jumping. It's about six thousand away. Looking for other targets still though. If you uh, go back to FLIR to search, that'll help. Easier to pick out the hotspots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got two smoking targets at that location. You have a clear line of sight yet? Yeah, we should be able to get one in on one of them. On this target here, am I? Target! That would help. Alright, you're, uh... I don't see any, uh... Anything else around. Good you're clear to fire. What away? That's a good shack. Roger. He's on fire. We've got another one right here. I don't know if this is going to track through the... Uh, I don't know what you want to call it. Some sort of power pole. Yeah, let me keep sliding left. I love it when you slide left. Oh, yeah. Target T-72 looks like, or T-80. Roger. Uh, you're clear to fire. Oh, he's looking right at us, dude. 
Ocean one, one rifle, uh, Lattice Charlie. Six seconds. Missile! He's dead. Yeet! Good flying, good flying, good job. Yeah, we're a little close. I'm gonna get us some standoff. You got it, Wags. <laughs> What, what was that, a T-80? I think so. I, I got a little scared when it pointed right at us. Yeah, that's usually not a good and then, sign. Oh, and then when the missile came off, I was like, oh, fuck. Laser ranging. It's like, oh, shit. Bleaker, what's going on? Target is destroyed. Looking for more. Uh, target BTR. Roger, you're clear to fire. Ocean 1 1 rifle lattice, Charlie. Missile forward, not sure where from. That one missed. It's stored if you want to reposition. Sounds good. Oh, somebody is uh -oh. shooting at us. Someone doesn't like us. Engine two out. Oh, man. Well, definitely not going to be able to hover on uh, on one. Yeah, it's okay. We can RTB. I did not see where that came from. There's yeah, be another I tank didn't out either. There. All right. Well, that sucks. Jettison the Hellfires on the right. Yeah, over on your uh, left side panel, yeah, you can select the station it. and then. <clears throat> where's the, where's the uh, where's the uh, drop button? That's the one in the middle. Oh, I got it. Like, all right, I see it. Oof. Try not to drop right. the rotor too much. We jettisoned. Awesome, thanks, sir. We'll, s we'll send that to the mermaids. Yeah, I'm sure somebody will get them. I'm gonna reset the Wicca page so that way, uh, <clears throat> you know, it doesn't look like anything's wrong. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Everything's under control. Okay. Well, well. <laughs> it um <clears throat> it wasn't a shoot down actually. It was a massive desync. Like they were right next to us and we kind of lagged right into them. Um and then, uh, and then all of a sudden, just desynced from there. If you go to, well, it um, says the uh, the rapier is an optical guided missile, so that could have been it. What it got us. So we yeah. For that rapier. I'm Might not. Need even, to look for that rapier and take him out. I'm not even sure what they look like. <laughs> 
Uh, it's got some launchers. Let me see if I can find a picture and describe it to you in detail. <laughs> um, no, so it wasn't gun hits. We're it gonna, was. We're, we're gonna play charades or whatever you call it, where you yeah, draw right. the thing, you try to guess it. Um, he's got a video up on his channel. If you go, you can go check it out. But basically. It showed us. So it kind of looks like a Sea Whiz uh, on an aircraft carrier, like with the dome shape. And okay. then on the side, it has two pairs of missiles. Okay. And in the middle of the dome, it has a little radar dish on it. It looks like R2 D2 loaded with missiles and a radar dish in the middle. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then when he shoots, he's like, Wah! I like the Sea Whiz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, so if you go watch the video on his channel, um, it shows that he's pulling up next to us, and then all of a sudden our aircraft jumps towards him. He moves away, and then we just spontaneously combust and disintegrate. So it's actually a really funny video. Um, you definitely go check it out. I'll uh, maybe I'll uh, link to it. But it's it's pretty funny how we just the the aircraft just kind of crumbles right in front of him. Trash can with missiles. Track radar looks like a Starlink. <laughs> Pure side quarter telescope. Nice. I can feel the sea breeze coming through the uh, damaged glass. <laughs> nice. At least we're RTB, man. We're we're not dead yet. We're we're still airborne. Yeah, we're so not, we're not dead yet. Not dead yet. Oh man. Get there eventually. 15. How far was it? It was initially it was like 45 clicks. It's gonna take a few minutes. <laughs> Match and shoot. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream where we are limping our damage. Are you streaming on Twitch and YouTube? Say again. Are you streaming on both Twitch and YouTube? Yeah, I've got a multi-stream set up going. Nice. Uh, my buddy, Match and Shoot, followed you. Nice. He's obviously he might be a '64 pilot. Yeah, sounds sounds like it could be. He uh, we held hands this weekend watching the air show. That's sun and fun. Nice. It was intimate. <laughs> You're pretending to be a Blackhawk pilot, huh? <laughs> he flies the 7576 as well. Nice. Good airplane. <laughs> Does Tricker use bubblegum hand sanitizer? <laughs> and he's got a beautiful mustache. <laughs> oh man what can I say I, I flew the Blackhawk for two years it's okay it, it does what it's supposed to do well it's uh it flies like a truck but you know it's all right. Not as much fun as this, though. Would I have flown the KW if I had had the chance? I don't know, man. That one engine. 
single engine. That just... I don't know. It's like... It's single engine. And I know I'm going to piss off the KW fanboys here. And, and I, I, let me just say that uh, when it comes out, I'll buy it. And I'll fly it. I'll learn it. Because it looks cool. Right? But... Uh, You know, as far as uh, flying it as an, as my aircraft of choice in the army, uh, one engine, um, just enough ammo to piss off the bad guys, not enough to do anything about it. Eh, it wouldn't be my first choice. Now, if I had a choice, if my only choice were between a, a Kiowa and a Blackhawk, then I would probably pick the Kiowa just, just so I got something to shoot with, right? Yeah, not really, uh, not really a fan of the whole single engine thing. All right, I'm gonna have to slow down a little bit. I'm gonna slow down just a little bit to get some altitude to get over these hills. No worries, I'm just uh, along for the ride. Sending it to Casmo with a clickbait. <laughs> Uh, you know, he flew both. He'd probably tell you he enjoyed the uh, the 58 more. This, you know, you never you never forget your first love, right? And mine was the. Uh... <laughs> right, right. Yeah. This engine's torched, but oh well. <laughs> My MTP, <laughs> right? Yeah, just replace them both. It's all good. Hey, we're single engine in combat, you know? We, we did what we had to do. Yeah, I, uh, I would pick the KW over, uh, <laughs> oh no, stupid bot. I got to get better at programming my bots. Um, Was it one, one, one way, Charlie? If my choices were Blackhawk or KW, it'd be KW. But probably five minutes, yeah. My bot is stupid, I apologize. What about the little bird? Now, now see, the little bird's a different animal. Single engine, but... I don't know. I, I would enjoy the little bird, I think. What's different about the little bird? As far as I know, it's got more power, and uh, in the AH configuration, it's got missiles and I don't think they have any, I don't know if they shoot Hellfires on it, but it's got rockets and gun. Not much better than the 58, if at all, in that regard, but it's got more, uh, more power from what I know, and it's uh, a little more survivable. There are lots of guys who have crashed little birds and Let us draw the gone to the next whatever. aircraft and blasted off again, you know? And if it, it's like one one shack, lays off 20. Uh, trim it out just a little bit. My arm's getting tired. <clears throat> Gotta get over this hill here. <laughs> now, Cobra would have been fun. That that definitely would have been fun to fly to. <coughs> definitely would have uh, would have flown that had I had the opportunity. 
close one on the right of tanks to shell kind of chop you If I were in that era, definitely. Well, we're not too far. Doing 80 knots. The boxy canopy one. Thing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That. I don't know. They, there were a few guys who I I uh, knew early in my career who flew Cobras and. They enjoyed them. Um, they did like the newer technology and the Apache a little bit better, but most of them really enjoyed their time in Cobras as well. So I don't know that I ever asked any of them if they if they had to pick which one they would pick, but I'm sure it'd be a, a good mix of old versus new. We're getting there. Yeah. Samurai 1 1, what a way to play. Bar. What's the last thing? 1 6 9 5. Splice it. Right. But you'd be. Well, the, the new Cobra, yeah, absolutely. The, what is it? The Zulu model Cobra is as capable as an Apache. Uh, if you want to count the air-to-air -air stuff, it's more capable. You know, they they actually have stingers, I believe, but they also have a different mission. You know, their mission is to go out with the Marines. You know, as an expeditionary force. They the Marines have their own air, whereas the Army, you know. We go out under Air Force cover. So, a little bit of a different mission. Almost there. Hey, no worries, man. I'm just chatting away. We're talking about uh, the F 35 demo pilot, how cute she was. Nice. I was waving at her. I gotta make it down there for sun and fun one of these days. Yeah, it's a blast, man. They could let us charm and place around. Welcome back, Imagine Shoot. Sorry. Sorry about my uh, my silly bot. It uh, overreacts, and I haven't. I have honestly just haven't taken the time to square him away. So. <laughs> F-35 demo pipe, yeah. Well, I think, uh, I, I bet if you go on the internet and look at look up Sun and Fun and the F-35, I bet you'll be able to find pictures. Yeah, definitely got to make it down there. It's one of my bucket list items, Sun and Fun, and then, uh, of course, uh, Oshkosh. You know, those are all bucket list things. We'll get there eventually, I suppose. Alrighty, let's see. Alright. We're going to have to do a roll on here single engine since we don't have the uh... <laughs> it's all good man it's all good we'll, uh... we're doing all right here thanks for dropping by We won't do the whole pattern here, just uh, uh, 
looks like somebody's coming off over there. Just want to get close enough to the ramp to be able to taxi back in. <clears throat> What's that, another Apache? Let's get everything squared away here and see if we can get her down way fast for a roll on. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, John. Very nice, man. We made it back! One piece, I think. I love it. Good job. Plus one on the right. A little too fast to taxi. Oh, jeez. Try not to roll it getting off the runway here. That was perfect, man. All right, yeah, we're on gray flag again. Gray flag Persian Gulf. It was daytime. We looked at one of the other ones, but it was nighttime, and that was a little bit more than we wanted to deal with today. All right, tail was locked. Lights out. I suppose this is probably good enough here. Ah, well, we'll we'll pull up behind it, or beside the A10. That way, we're not blocking the whole taxiway. Go tactics guide. No, that sounds uh, that sounds horrible. <laughs> Looks like that A10 is spewing out gas. I don't know if you saw that. No, I didn't. Uh, his right engine is like spewing out gas on my end. Oh yeah, I see it. That's kind of interesting, you know, physics-wise. I don't know what's going on with it. Or he's taking a whiz. I don't know what's going on. Looks like we have another Apache that's joining us. Yep. Are we doing a repair? Yeah, cranking the APU and shutting it down. Roger that. Oh, abort takeoff! I want to let you know that you did a fine job up there. <laughs> we were we were watching a movie while you were flying us back. Nice. Plus one on the right of track, Tom. Alright, shutting it down and we'll run the repair. Right, 
helps to shut the APU off first. That's not good. Hey. You're, you're attracting all the boys in the yard. We got an Apache, we got a fucking Harriers hovering off the left. We may be too far. Yeah, we will do. we will do. Appreciate you, man. Shoot. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah, I can't get the repair to run, so I'm not sure what's going on. Might be too far. Uh, did you open your door? Yeah. Let me let me open mine. Try it again. Yeah, it's not running. You just reslot. That's always fun. Oh, God, sorry. <laughs> the microphone's right in front of my headset, and I'm in VR, so. Oops. Second, we're trying to load in right now. Alrighty. There we go. We're back. I was asked, would you rather have unlimited bacon but no more video games or games, unlimited games but no more games? What? Oh, fuck, did I just read? <laughs> would you rather have unlimited bacon but no more video games or games, unlimited games but no more games? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what the guy wrote, man! Got engines running. TSD page is set up. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Aircraft come. Let's get the video up. Huh. second I forgot to and I didn't I didn't think about it because we're flying uh, flying with trickers so but I need to load up the way
All right. Tell you what. Let's come over here. Or I'll, I'll punch this in. How about that? Oh, you can see. Okay, I wasn't sure if you guys could see the way on my screen. Okay, there's one. Fuel storage, west. Fuel storage, center. Rail north. And power plant. Was the one on the right of so we don't have to look at it. What VR? Uh, I've got the uh, HP Reverb G2. Works pretty good. Did we put him in his targets? I think it may have. Yep. Interesting. Okay. All right, so targets 7, 8, 9, and 10 are the uh, different red areas on the map up there near the power point, so starting from uh, west to east. Oh, did you just put those in there? Yeah, I was using the way. I, I haven't messed with it too oh. much, so I wanted to try it out, and it uh, looks like I put those in. Yeah, it did. I was actually just inputting the coordinates right now. Oh, nice. All right, I'll give us direct to uh, target 10. Uh, Oculus, you don't have to lift your headset for the way. Oh, All right, we are direct awesome. target 10. Good deal. All right, we are cranked APUs off. Parking brake is released. TSD, we are good to go. I'm ready if you are, sir. I'm ready. All right, let's do this. why it wouldn't repair us. I wonder if maybe we were just too far from the zone or I don't know. We were just off the runway. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, it really is. Um, I've gotten used to VR. When you're in VR, you can see a lot more of the visual cues. So in your peripheral vision, you, you pick up a lot more of the motion. And that, you know, obviously, I don't have a motion rig, so I'm not getting any sort of sense of movement anywhere else. So anything that I can do to, uh, you know, kind of increase the uh, perception of motion helps. And then, you know, after you've been flying with that for so long and then you don't fly with it anymore, it's, it's tough. Um, yeah, tough to, it, it's just, it's different because you, you lose all of those visual cues, right? 
because in uh, in VR, you know, you got that that stereoscopic vision versus uh, flat screen where you're just looking at one image, so you don't pick up those very, very, very minute. You're doing an amazing job, by the way. Hoo The uh, Huey got pretty close. Yeah, I was like, what is this guy doing? He's watching the stream, so... Uh, I, I thought he was going to start throwing... I thought he was going to start throwing out flares. Uh, let me see. Did you turn on the RWR or no? I did not. Alright, I'll do that. Alright, CMOS is on as well. Roger. We'll swing this way. Maybe get ourselves a little more standoff over the water this time. And not so close to the shoreline where somebody up there can nail us just like they did. Of course, I guess I should be more mindful of that stupid rapier. Asshole. Shoot me. Take out an engine. I'm not okay with that. You're okay with <laughs> Thanks, John. Thought you were coming to fly wingman. Yeah, we'll come in a little bit more from the south this time. Keep us out over the water. forget to take the spring off of my pedals. So instead of setting my pedals and relaxing, I've got to hold pressure on uh, the good, entire time. Uh, you're good them or you need help on this position? I'm also looking at a uh, man pad. If you see the man pad, uh, you are free to prosecute. I'm down to one rocket that Mavericks and it's on Free board, to um, prosecute? Killing a uh, Yeah, Mavericks. you can. I don't like... Uh, I normally just take the spring off because it's you know these MFG crosswinds. It's really easy to uh, to pop the spring off. Um, makes it a lot I don't know more comfortable. And I don't like using trim on the pedals. So the the Blackhawk had trim on the pedals. The uh, Apache did not. I mean, I guess there was a heading hold. There was heading hold, but you know. That's my alarm going off. Let's, Let's snooze that. We got some time. Gotta set an alarm to remind me of uh, when I need to go pick up my children. But it's not time yet. This is just the, the first alarm. Is that flight 
Gloria uh, on station Bravo close air support right, 27 clicks, Late 8 20. minutes I'll start bringing my uh I am having a brain fart at the moment. Flight path vector. That's it. I'm gonna start bringing my flight path vector back over the home plate. Charlie Lattice and the harbor, east side of the harbor, inbound to GB38. Uh, We'll just stay up here at 400 feet and not do the whole dive and then climb back up thing. I'm going to trim it out, put on some hold modes. There we are. Relax just a little bit. Attack, attack Iran. I guess I shouldn't say it like that. In the uh, current environment, but I mean, that's where we're going, right? Close the one more pay but you click on top. Six minutes. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. There's the enemy. Her fr friendly Apache getting shot the shit where we were just dead. Yeah, I was trying to come in from the south just a little bit more. Uh, kind of keep us over the water, give us a little more standoff. I didn't get out as far as far to the east as I wanted, but we can work it. Apache's dead. Friendly Apache's dead. There's an enemy F-14 in the area. Oh, we just lost that now, Apache. From He's smoking. I'm trying to find him right now. Okay. Uh, Shack one Strela Harbor. Charlie Lattice. So I'm gonna put his direct to the targets, I think, where the SAM site is. Alright, sounds good. I'm gonna come down in altitude and... Hopefully we can stay out of the way of that uh, Tomcat. Alright, I updated our position where I think all the bad stuff is. The real bad stuff. Alright, we'll head that way. That trim reset is... Killing. There was an F-14 on fire, so if you see a smoky plane, that's an F-14. Alright. I'm, I'm looking. Charging 5-2, but the 1-1. Alright, on the nose. We definitely got targets. Spare 7 8, but the 1-1. Go for Spare 7 8. Best of the main was the one one. I have Tali right here. Check the radar and the launcher. Approximately one hundred. Correct. Yeah, got multiple targets on my. On my location. Okay. Like a bass, already locked it on. Turning hard now. Fifty miles out. What's the range on that rape here? Any idea? Uh, we're still way out of range. I'm not getting anything back. Okay. Yeah, we're still I'm zooming in on D. Uh, we got multiple AAA. Zero one two, 
got a Shilka. Let's save this target 12. Target 12, alright. Oh, I just saw some gunfire off our right. Breaking left. Oh shit. Is that the F-14? I don't know. I'm looking. Uh, uh, the Huey's still behind us. Maybe that was the Huey just shooting in the water? I hope that's what it was. Yeah, I have no idea. Something up in front of us. This was a nice shack. Multiple right shacks in front of us. Roger. Was one of those that didn't find anything. Still too far for the Shilka. The Shilka's right on the beach. Okay. Probably hit that first. Explosion in the water. There's, sure there's a rapier right there. I got it. Okay. T13 is the rapier. Still a little too far. We're just coming in range now. T11 Bravo. About 9700 right now. Okay. He's searching. Okay, let it fly. Rifle. Ocean 1-1, one, one, uh, Lattice Charlie Rifle, Rapier. Somebody just called a rifle. Okay. What was that shell guy? 12? 12 for the shell guy. I'm not talking to him. Oh. I'm not I talking to him. I just shacked him. Okay. What yeah, else is he down just there? got shagged. Uh, we got multiple stuff down there. 
Let me slew it on back over there. Hold on. Alright. Another rapier? Yeah. Rifle. Probably want to keep sliding or something so we don't take an optical missile. Someone's close down there. I think it's that Huey. Oh my god, this Huey's going in, baby. Look at this guy. Yeah. Looking for the rapier. Tell you, I'm gonna go outbound and uh, give us some standoff, and we'll come back in. Okay. They're tiny. Yeah. And that first one you were engaging, I was like, "Holy shit, that's it!" Yeah, it's fucking tiny. I'll get to about 6k and then uh, start turning around. Yeah, no worries. Um, let, let's take a look back over there, because we're still getting hit by, uh, or pinged by a rapier, so. Maybe yeah, we'll see if we can find it. Alright. Let me see if I can find it. C-1-1, rifle. I don't think so. It looks civilian almost. Okay, guys, uh, I think the village when uh, one is in uh, Bravo is cleared, uh, we can capture a few points. Yeah, go ahead.
Does Ocean One One go? Nothing. Yeah, I can't find shit, man. He's the Huey's flying right over that area, and I just don't see it. Okay. Unless it's like further behind. I'm looking a little bit past this to see if there's anything out here. Hold on, in for a gun run, Charlie, cover plan C72, rolling in south of the US. What's he shooting at? What's the one on the gun, gun, gun top? <clears throat> I'm saying one o'clock now. Yeah, I'm looking toward one o'clock. <clears throat> That's alright, we can push over to the power plant if you want. Yeah, I just can't find this guy, I don't know where he's at. Alright, we'll uh, head over there. That Huey's just flying right over the area and he's, nothing's happening to him. Close the one on the end with guns, same target, same direction, leading us west. I heard this guy, this other guy say that uh, there's T-72 over here somewhere. Okay. Well, let's find him! What's that guy doing? You say he's putting smoke over something? He said something about a show of force over the power plant. Okay. It says zilch, so I think everything is dead. Uh, okay. Zilch all over here. There goes the A-10. Well, somebody needs to put some troops down then. Yeah.
Alright, well, what do you want to do? I don't know, I'm scared. <laughs> um, I don't know if all the targets at this SA-3 are taken down. On the F-10 map, just north of Havadara. Ah, we can go that way. Jesus. It says it's halfway done. <laughs> Huey just went over top of us. Well, I'm checking all the station, Charlie, we just got off TV. I can try to put in a target area for it. I got the Huey and the, and the Tads. <laughs> 201, 2 Gens, 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 Barbara. This is supposedly the SA-3 site, I believe. Looks like it's taken out. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much there. I think it's all dead. Yeah, that sucks. Look at that Huey's butt. <laughs> nice. We can go harass it a little bit. We can do whatever we, whatever we want. Yeah, we need someone to come to airdrop some troops. Should we go to the QRF? Like, would we be able to take anything out over there? You think there's anything there? I, I have no idea. Um, May as well take a look, right? There's nothing else to do. If we, if we keep heading east, we go to Banner of Boss, and there's well, there's a Hawk and SA-5 site that's not completely dead. Okay. But it might it might be dead though. Because this SA-3 site is definitely dead. baby I gave you a waypoint Okay, got it. Figured. Figured I'd be a good CPG. Nice.
clicks. Try not to crash into a building before we get there. Is this how you normally fly? Is this how you fly when you're landing in San Diego? That's right. Yeah, no. Well, I don't. I don't think I've ever seen a seven five seven six. I've flown a seven six into San Diego. It's uh. Damn. Yeah, that's uh, exciting. Yeah, just flying a three twenty one in there is kind of exciting. Now we got a triple that goes in there every day. Uh, they subbed yeah, really? us out for the triple. Yeah. Holy crap. Hey, at least it's not Orange County, right? <clears throat> that one's always fun. That and, uh... Uh, what's the other one? John Wayne and uh, Burbank. Yeah. Yeah, Burbank is always fun to fly into. That's where Jay Leno's garage is. Nice. That'd it's be right cool to go check airport. out. Can you actually go in it? I don't know. I've never been in it. Uh, we just do turns out of there. It's funny because like when I fly there, I call it the escort run or the escort turn. So, because usually we fly out of there out of Vegas. Nice. And, uh, there's a lot of escorts. Uh, right here, ten o'clock. Let me take a look at the tabs here. Uh oh, I'm dead. No, I'm dead. Ah. Ah. I'm dead. <laughs> oh shit. Oh man. I didn't even get a warning. Yeah, I didn't either. It was uh I don't know if it was that Huey or what. No, I think it was the ZSU. It was an automatic headshot. Oh, shit. You know, the DCS ground AI. With their, uh, their laser aim. Yeah. All right, man. I got to call it quits. I got to go pick up the kids. All right, man. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Yeah, good flying with you. And we'll, uh, we'll do it again. Cool, man. Take it easy. All right, we'll see you. Well, everybody, thanks for uh, dropping by the stream today. We didn't get to kill as much shit as we wanted to, but, you know, we had a good time hanging out. So, appreciate y'all being here, and uh, <clears throat> looking forward to do it again. If you haven't already, drop a uh, like, follow, subscribe uh, on Twitch, YouTube, wherever you're watching. I appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot. Peace.